In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know about the new map, Cast Elo. This new map is featured in the 1.36 update, and so I decided... Oh, uh... Hold on. Hello? Oh, hey, Nigel, what's up? Yeah, no, I I'm, wor I'm working on the video right now. What do you mean that's not how it's pronounced? Okay, so Casello is the newest map being added to 1.36. And I decided, hey, instead of giving my viewers just smoke grenade throws, why not give them tips about the map as well? So that's what I'm aiming to do in this video. So if you like this kind of content or find yourself here more often, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is 100% free and it helps out the channel a ton. And if you go on to enjoy this video, then go ahead and leave a like, as this not only helps me know what you guys want to see, it recommends my videos to more noobs in need. And without further ado, let's talk about Casello. What's up guys, it's your boy Stump. And we're going to be taking a look at the map layout for Casello, so that way we could get an idea on how this map is going to play out. So, the first thing we need to know is that the breach starts down here at the bottom of the map, and the coalition starts here at the top. Pretty standard. Then the coalition, I know, also has very short routes to get to either bombsite, while the breach have much longer routes to get to either bombsite. However, these two routes right here are the only routes to either A site or B site. Meanwhile, the breach has one, two, three different routes to go to B site, and one, two, three different routes to get to A site. And because two of the routes go through mid, that means breach have mid control from the beginning of the round. The only way for the coalition to get into mid is by going through both bomb sites. And I've done some timing calculations for this map already. So the Coalition, once they get here, here, and here, in these spots, the Breach will be right here, here, and here. Direct line of sight in all three of these areas. Now, because the Coalition has to go through here and through here to get to mid, they're going to have to run into the Breach every single time. So instead of doing something like that, the Coalition will have to take a more defensive approach from taking the bomb sites. So with A site being right here and B site being right here, and the breach having control of this entire area, it is safe to say that this is going to be more of a breach sided map. All right, so we're going to start with the Coalition smokes first because they're the ones who are going to need to use them more frequently. So starting on A site, you're going to have the A mid smoke. So what you're going to do is you're going to run to this pillar right here and you have your crosshair lined up on this line right here. You're then going to turn and look up to this archway and put your crosshair on the bottom right corner of this square right here. It's kind of hard to see so you got to make sure you line it up just right and then once you're lined up go ahead and jump Toss throw. But anyways this blocks off A mid, this blocks off Z and it blocks off garden and it'll help you slow down the breach push from mid. All right this next smoke is for a short and it's going to block off forest from a short so that way the breach push will be slowed down. So what you're going to do is you're going to wedge yourself into this corner right here. You're going to look up to this wood post and you're going to line your crosshair up with the trim on this gazebo. And once you're all lined up, go ahead and jump throw. Smoke grenade out! It'll take a minute for it, it to bounce around and get to where it needs to go, but it does the job pretty well. So if the breach come through forest, they won't be able to push through. If they do, they'll end up getting smoked out as such. All right, and the last smoke for the coalition is the B entrance smoke from balcony. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand on top of this top step right here, and you're gonna look to this crack of the wall right here. You're gonna look at the top of the crack, and you're gonna aim up to the top of this tower, and you're gonna jump through. It's a, it's a fairly simple smoke throw, and it does the job real nice. As you can see, balcony is blocked off from B sites. Breach can't push through, and they'll have to go around this way. And if they do try going this way, they're going to have to jump up here, which is also somewhat blocked off from the smoke, and they're going to be blinded as well. Now, this next smoke is to smoke off B mid. And what you're going to do is you're going to run and back into this spot right here. So as you're running, you're going to run and back up to the corner. Then you're going to look at 
this arch right here in the back of this corridor. You're going to look up to the top of the arch like this. And you're going to jump throw. Talking smoke. As you can see, it blocks it off pretty nice. The breach don't have any clear way to get in. And if they do peek out like this, then you'll be sitting here in B site. All right. Now let's move on to the breach. Now this smoke is going to block off this area right here on B site, and it's gonna help you get into bomb site quick and plant the bomb in this safe spot right here. And the way to do that is when you run into here, you're gonna back up into this corner right here. So once you backed up into this corner right here, you're gonna look at this line on this wall, and you're gonna look up to the arch where this line and the arch intersect. So right about here. Then you're gonna take two steps. And then on the second step that you hear, you're gonna throw like this. One, two. Pop and smoke! As you can see, this blocks off most of the site. It'll allow you to come in here and get the bomb plant off fairly quickly. And another thing you could do is you could throw a flashbang over this wall by lining up like this along the top of the wall, doesn't matter where and you just jump through it. And what this will do is it will blind all of B-Site since this is such an open skybox for B-Site. Anyone sitting here or anywhere on the site is gonna get flashed. All right, now this next smoke grenade is going to block off a entrance from coalition spawn. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wedge yourself into this corner right here. Then you're gonna look up and find these two branches right here or these two sets of leaves. And you're gonna look right in the middle and then you're gonna aim up till your crosshair is parallel with this leaf right here. Not above it, not below it, this leaf, this exact leaf right here. So once you're lined up, you're then gonna jump throw. Now because the branches do sway a bit, it is going to be a little difficult. Smoke grenade coming up! But once you get it lined up, jump throw. And as you can see, it hits a site entrance pretty good. Anyone who's sitting outside like this spot right here is gonna get smoked off. Anyone sitting over here is gonna get smoked off. And they're not gonna be able to enter site unless they are already on site. And to do that, we need to smoke Ninja, which Ninja is this little corner spot right here, which is the most hidden area on a site. And there's a smoke for that that I'm about to show you. Now this last smoke for the breach is going to be to block off ninja or smoke out ninja. And what you're going to do is you're going to line up your crosshair on this line and with this crack on the ground. Next, you're going to look at this crevice on the wall right here where this wall meets this wall. And you're going to aim up to the top of the tower. And once you're lined up, go ahead and jump through. Pop and smoke! As you can see, ninja is completely smoked off. So anyone sitting in ninja is going to get smoked out so they're gonna have to move so now that you know the different smoke throws for each side let's get into the tips and tricks for this map that i have found first off with a site all of the big green boxes are wall bangable with all weapons but the smaller silver boxes are wall bangable with only wall bangable weapons the well walls and well statue on a site can be wall banged with wall bangable weapons but you can't wall bang through the wall and statue or through both walls. Lastly for a site, the pillars are all wall bangable with wall bangable weapons. For B site, all of the boxes are wall bangable with all weapons. The railings on B site and the rest of the map are wall bangable with all wall bangable weapons. The statue in the middle of B site is not wall bangable which can be used for cover to plant the bomb. As for the rest of the map, all trees are wall bangable with all wall bangable weapons. The railings on the stairs for mid are not wall bangable, but the posts on the well are wall bangable with all wall bangable weapons. The bushes and hedges are all wall bangable with all weapons. The flower boxes are not wall bangable, but the flowers on top are. These flower boxes are only found in each team's spawn, but can still be used for cover. Lastly, the helicopter and the large pillars in the coalition spawn are not wall bangable. Now let's take a look at all of the spots that I think are good for camping or just throwing off your opponent. 
On A site, you have Ninja, which is the back corner of A site. We've already discussed about this during the smoke grenade throws. But you can also hide next to these boxes right here. You can also try out this spot next to the wall right here. I haven't played an official game on this map yet, so let me know if this spot works in the comments below. Outside of A site, you have this spot right here by the rocks that you can use to get an angle on any of the breach jumping down from the boxes. You also have a nice spot next to the helicopter in the coalition spawn for sniping players jumping down from the boxes. You can also snipe from this flower box, which lets you have angles on the other side of A site that you couldn't use for the helicopter spot. On B site, you have this spot right here behind the railing that you can use to hold multiple angles by the statue, B mid, and cliff. You can also hold the statue and use it as cover while peeking either balcony or B mid. As the breach after you plant, you can hold B long or B mid from the statue, or you could hold B long from under the bomb site on cliff and get this nice head glitch angle. For the breach going to A site, you can hold this sniper position by this rock and this wall outside of Z to see any players pushing A short or forest. Lastly for mid, there is a good camping spot on the top of mid stairs so you can catch any players rotating through mid off guard. There is also a camping spot in shade, which is right next to mid stairs going to A mid. This can also be used to catch rotating players off guard. So, now that you know everything you need to know about the new 1.36 map, Casello, it is now time to implement it into your gameplay. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all learned something today. If I missed anything, then let me know down in the comments. And if you made it this far, then you might as well hit the subscribe button or leave a like, whatever tickles your fancy. You can also check out the end screen cards right here to take you to some more awesome content. And as always, stay safe. Bye bye.